Using HTML, it is possible to add quite a lot of formatting to a web page, but this can be quite inefficient. Most websites consist of multiple pages, many paragraphs, and many headings. So if you were to set the format for each individual page, each individual heading, and each individual paragraph, etc., etc., it would be time-consuming. Not to mention that if you or your client wanted to make a change, you'd have to go back to each and individually change the formatting of each and every element. So that's where CSS comes in. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and essentially it's nothing more than a way to set the format for all elements of a particular style in one go. By the way, this video is part of a larger course about Bootstrap Studio. You can find the full course on Udemy or Skillshare. Check out the link in the description. Let's have a look at the following HTML file. On the left we have the file opened up in a text editor and on the right we have it opened up in Firefox. We can see a few things. First of all, we learned that I'm a terrible cook, but that's not really the point right now. Secondly, we see that it was quite easy to use paragraphs and headings to set up the content of this website. However, it could still use a lot of formatting. So let's add a style sheet to it. Add a style element to the head of the document. We could also add that in a separate document, but to keep it simple, let's just keep it in the head of the same document. Type P to show that we are affecting only the paragraphs right now. And use curly brackets. And between the curly brackets, we set the color to blue like this, and we set the font to sans serif. The P letter lets the browser know that we should apply this style or this format to every paragraph in the page. So let's save the text file and refresh the browser. And as you can see, all the paragraphs have been turned blue. Next, let's set the background color of the body of the document to light blue. And let's set the font of the heading also to sans serif. The problem is, of course, that you don't necessarily want all the paragraphs to the, be the same. Perhaps you would like different types of paragraph. In this case, for example, perhaps you would like a special kind of format for the introduction test and a special kind for specifically for the recipes. To do this, we add a class attribute to the relevant tags. Then we modify the CSS code to create a specific format for those tags which have this class attribute. You can think of a class as a kind of identifier to let the browser know what kind of formatting to give each element. First, we modify the HTML to add a class named instructions to each paragraph containing a recipe instruction. Do this by adding the text class equals instructions. Next, we add a specific style entry to format any element with the instructions class. As you can see from the example added, text indent 40 pixels. This means that all the text which have the instructions class attribute will be indented to the right by 40 pixels. Line height 5 pixels sets the line spacing between these paragraphs to 5 pixels. Color red sets the text color to red. And that's really all there is to it. Some simple CSS code in the style element in the head of your HTML document is a simple way to add elaborate yet consistent formatting to your page. And more importantly, it's also easy to modify and experiment with the styling without having to change the styling and formatting of every single element individually. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, why not support this channel by liking and subscribing? You can also check out my website for more free stuff. So long for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.